Hello everyone, welcome back to the Top 10 Most Awesome Channel. We have heard much about the haunted attractions all over the world, but how about the churches that are the live altar of ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and others of their tribe? Ahead, you will find a list of the most haunted churches around the world and details about each's locations, awry past, and scary present. Many of the locations on the list are not frequented by humans. Those who have dared to visit these have reported paranormal experiences. Know more about their spooky nature and how they turn into what they are. Let's get started. I am sure you're eager to know the number one, but the complete list is distressing. Starting with number 10. This wedding event seems to be quite normal. All the members are enjoying the ceremonials, and this also seems normal, but something unusual is caught on camera. But unfortunately, something creepy happens. This guy slides in subtly into the event. Just have a look at his weird moves. This person doesn't seem to be in normal mental condition. But what bothers us more than this guy's half face is missing, plus why no one is reacting, not even the camera person. That is spooky. And the interesting part was that no one knew this incident happened. People came to know this only after seeing the footage. So what basically was that? A man with a bad mental condition or a spirit of a half-faced man roaming inside the church and bringing misfortune for the people around? People said they didn't see anything like that and were surprised after the release of the footage. Number nine. Have you ever came across a beheaded man in a church? No, right? The answer of the mass in this footage is also the same. Look carefully while people are involved in the church ceremony. The cameraman hands the camera around. Initially, everything seems a bit normal, but look at the man where his head is. Is it some kind of a trick or something unnatural? This man here is sitting without his head on his shoulders, and this incident also the camera person didn't realize what he was shooting. When asked with mass after the release of the footage, people expressed that the chair was all empty throughout the event, and they didn't notice anything like that. It's creepy sitting around a spirit, isn't it? Later, the story came out that a few days back, a biker rider went through an accident and lost his head. Well, was this creepy thing the spirit of his unfortunate bike rider? Number 8. We have seen many churches whose building looks haunted. This footage is also from one of those. This event happened early in the morning and was caught by the security camera. There were no guards around, and the church was completely abandoned while this clip was captured into the camera. Look at the clip carefully. You will see something unusual in a moment. This little boy suddenly gets in with no elders around at 2 in the early morning when rarely people come to visit the church. But most surprisingly is the way this boy exits. Have you noticed? The child has suddenly vanished. How is this even possible? Get through the clip once again. Later, it was confirmed that no one was around. How this creepy thing happened inside the church is still a mystery. Number seven. This mysterious footage was supposedly captured by a man who was documenting the architecture of a church somewhere in Poland. In the beginning of the video, the man makes his way towards an empty confessional booth and films the interior. He then continues towards a second booth. As he passes this one, however, you can see a sinister looking reflection in the glass. The figure appears pale and hazy and has dark sunken eyes. At this point in the video, it is reasonable to assume that it might simply be the reflection of the camera holder or someone standing near him that has become warped and distorted in the glass of the confessional booth. However, it's what he captures next that will truly send chills down your spine. The camera holder makes his way to yet another confessional booth and as he did with the previous two, begins filming the interior. As he passes, he catches yet another glimpse of an unsettling figure. There, in the bottom corner of the window, is a ghastly ghost-like face staring back up at him. As before, the figure looks pale with dark sunken eyes. However, this time the face appears to be languishing in pain, staring up at the camera holder as if begging for help. The angle at which this face appears also tends to indicate that it could actually be something supernatural as it is too low to be the camera holder or anyone else. 
Could it be possible that this man has inadvertently captured the spirits of past visitors to the church? Perhaps patrons once looking for forgiveness for wicked deeds they had committed, only to be trapped in the afterlife inside the very same confessional booths, forced to spend an eternity thinking upon their sins. Number six. This frightening photo was uploaded in a video to YouTube by Piotr Kowaleski in May 2015. The description says that it was taken in a Catholic church somewhere in Poland by the uploader's mother. The gatherers seen in the photo were supposedly celebrating a first communion. However, there is one figure walking between the aisles that looks eerily out of place. The figure is dark and shadowy, and you can see right through its head and lungs. While it's possible that the figure is simply the result of a camera malfunction, it certainly does resemble a ghostly entity. Some have even suggested that it could be a shadow person, similar to the one seen earlier in this video. What do you think? Does this photo prove the existence of shadow people? Or could there be another explanation behind this mysterious figure? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Number five, when gathered in a church, we are always looking forward as we are always looking at the man or woman giving the service, our backs turned to the door. Well, what is the most interesting thing in this building was actually going on behind us? What if this true show was happening back at the door in this footage? Clear as day, someone is lingering behind the masses watching the crowd as they watch the service. Then again, we say someone, it's more something relatively human shaped. The spectral creature lingers at the back like the naughty kids at the back of a school bus, dark, disfigured, and lanky like a Tim Burton drawing sprung to life. What it wants is unclear, but it seems to know it doesn't fit in. It deliberately lingers by the back curtains of the door, letting itself be lost in the shadows. He was invisible to the congression. No one present claims to have spotted him on the day, yet the footage of the service shows it loitering behind him. Number four. This brief clip was uploaded to Pass YouTube channel in October 2011. Several members of a paranormal investigation team were exploring the ruins of St. Mary's Church near the village of Colston Bassett in England when they captured this eerie footage of what appears to be a ghostly figure as it passes by one of the windows. If you slow the footage down, you can see that the figure looks as though it could be wearing a long white dress or even a robe of some sort. While it's possible that the figure could simply be the reflection of one of the investigators, the strange way in which it appears to be dressed tends to indicate otherwise. In the video's description, the uploader also claims that all members of the team were accounted for at the time the ghostly figure was caught on camera. The ruins in which the footage was captured have a long history dating as far back as 1135. The church has been renovated several times, with much of its current facade dating to the 15th and 16th centuries. By the mid-18th century, however, much of the local population had left the area and the church fell into despair. As it stands now, the building and its grounds certainly do look like a stereotypical haunted church. But is it really home to the supernatural? This footage might prove that there is indeed a resident ghost wandering the grounds. Number three, there is very little information about this video other than that it was supposedly shot at a gathering to celebrate the life of a deceased family member. While it's unclear exactly where the clip was taken, the surroundings seen in the video indicate that it's very well might have been captured in a church. As the camera holder films the event, they focus on a table covered in brightly colored flowers and candles. Next, they film a statue of the Virgin Mary before focusing their attention towards a person sitting next to a hallway. Suddenly, a dark shadowy figure zooms past the camera at great speed. In fact, it is moving so fast that if you slow the footage down, all you can see is a dark blue. Several viewers have suggested that it could be a shadow person, a dark shadowy figure that is thought by many to lurk at the edge of our peripheral vision. Some also say that the only way to actually see a shadow person is to catch them on camera as the human eye is not fast enough to see them. However, as they are often thought to move at great speed, they can be very difficult to identify. Sadly, that coupled with the lack of information available on this video means that whatever this dark, shadowy figure really is will have to remain a mystery for the time being. 
Number two. This chilling footage was supposedly captured at St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church in Drogheda, Ireland. The church houses the National Shrine to St. Oliver Plunkett, an Irish saint who, despite being totally innocent, was arrested in Dublin in December 1679. In 1681, he was found guilty of high treason for promoting the Roman Catholic faith and was condemned to death. Despite numerous pleas for mercy, King Charles II thought it was too politically dangerous to spare Plunkett at the time and therefore did nothing to stop his execution. Plunkett was hanged in England on the 1st of July, 1681. After his execution, his head was brought to Rome and from there to Armagh and eventually to Drogheda, Ireland, where it has resided in St. Peter's Church ever since. Along with his head, the cell door from London's Newgate Prison, where Plunkett spent his last days, is also on display at the church. This chilling video, uploaded to Vicki Bramshaw's YouTube channel in April 2010, not only shows the cell door, but it is also thought to possibly show the ghost of St. Oliver Plunkett himself. If you look closely at the slide opening of the door, you can see what appears to be a pale, ghostly face peering out. While some claim that the face is probably just a reflection cast by the camera holder or their companion, others believe that the camera has indeed captured the ghost of the Irish saint. What do you think? Does this video really show the ghost of St. Oliver Plunkett? Could it be possible that his spirit is still somehow attached to the door of the cell in which he spent his last days? Well, think of the answer after seeing the number one. This scary video was uploaded to Renaissance 2001's YouTube channel in March 2015. Captured at the Lincoln Cathedral in Lincoln, England, the footage has piqued the interest of several paranormal enthusiasts. The clip starts as the camera holder is filming the cathedral at nighttime when something suddenly grabs their attention. At first, it seemed to be nothing unusual, possibly just part of the wall or some sort of object protruding from the other side. However, as the camera holder approaches, you can see that the shape actually resembles a face. They get closer and closer and the face begins to slowly pull back behind the wall. The camera holder makes a quick dash in an effort to catch another glimpse. However, when they turn the corner, the mysterious face has completely vanished. They pan around the building but are unable to find any trace of the figure that the face belonged to. In the video's description, the uploader suggests that the figure could be a ghost, and it's certainly hard to disagree. If it was simply a masked prankster, then the camera holder surely would have seen them hiding on the other side of the wall. The cathedral where this footage was captured has played home to many ghost sightings over the years, and with little wonder as construction of the building began way back in 1072. Even though it's thought to be a hotbed for paranormal activity, until this footage surfaced, there was very little video or photographic evidence of anything supernatural in or around the cathedral. With a history dating back close to a thousand years, however, it's certainly possible that there could be several spirits that call this place home. If that is all for today, guys, now to lighten up the mood, I suggest you go through our amazing fact clip of the top 10 most awesome things found in food. You enjoy the videos, and I will see you in the next one.